What's up guys, this is the Rifeman and I am back bringing you next episode of my own, uh, Napoleon Total War Let's Play as France. So to pick up where we left off, it was generally lots of smaller battles down here in southern France. Um, but we are going to be continuing on our mission to drive towards Paris. And a big chunk of that is the army of George Townshend Walker now being in position to be ferried across the channel. So I'm probably going to use this fleet and George Elphinstone. Let's get him here. Let's embark them. So if I stop blockading, I do that. Nope, they will not. I thought they might garrison this port and run around, but they picked up no movement points. So next turn, they will move towards Cannes. This army will remain here, replenishing for now. Um, but we'll probably head eastwards along this main road to help threaten Paris, because Paris right now is ungarrisoned, utterly ungarrisoned, and Napoleon was about here. My scouts are still on the move. This is the remnants of the army that fought Napoleon. Not Napoleon. Wellesley. Uh, research and tech seems okay, because I'm still waiting on London to build absolutely everything. Need to build a, need to get building a Supreme Corps rapidly. I do not want to get <clears throat> bottlenecked in any problems with having to uh, wait for research. Yep. No. Do not ambush. Allow them to continue on their path. That little cavalry unit has done an excellent job. It's in a perfect little scouting position. So, oh, stop it. Stop trying to secure the port. Not giving my armies any time to replenish. Oh. Um, but yes. Things seem to be going okay. Ha <laughs> ha Not quite to the port. How unfortunate. I know that army to the east hasn't really been doing anything, but... I feel, comf I feel comfortable knowing there's an army to the east um, that I can redeploy. When the need arises. I don't really. I can't really. I can sort of predict how the AI works in Empire, but it's a bit trickier in. That's just a bunch of infantry and militia. Let's peacefully occupy. Um, I don't. I can sort of predict how the AI is going to work in Empire, but in Napoleon, it's just all a bit trickier. Can't build an engineer school. Six, nine, five inch howards are right. Let's get some of these and start posting them out to some of my um, units overseas. Because ultimately, I've never actually used howitzers in this game before, so I'd be intrigued to find out how they work. Or at least how good they are. Manufactory. This is. Recruitment for artillery it could be it could do with a position to resupply, but say the V can't have everything you want. And let's do some general upgrading. Okay, I don't want to move you. Oh. So I would like to move John Moore up to the bridge to act as a wedge from all these Russian uh, French stacks coming in. Probably and crush this last unit. And let's take these troops. Cover the bridge in case they try and hit me from the flank. Send this chap up to. Hmm. Let's recruit some Swiss line here to act as a bit of a garrison. I would like. Well, actually, you're going to be quite nicely recruited in, in about replenished in about two turns. That's what's doing the rounds. Ivory is top dog. Then now it is sugar. Sugar, tea, sugar. A 
now it is sugar still just it won't be now boom that's a very very healthy amount of income from trade extremely extremely healthy I have not been doing I've been completely neglecting this let's pick let's fire my eye it doesn't help see no one has any useful useful traits I can't draw anyone from the opposition even if I swap them it doesn't help hmm it's not frustrating at all okay so 14,000 where's, where's um, Nelson's navy and a couple of thirds good let's get a another 106 gun first rate for Nelson's fleet And then this fleet under George Elphinstone. Third, second. Okay, let's get you 122 gun first rate. 206 gun firsts. Good. That sucked up all my money. Yep, this guy got an upgrade because he captured Khan very nicely. Infiltrate Brussels and let's get a new spy network going. Wow, lots of people spying in <clears throat> in um, Orleans. All they are. Okay, let's hit N10. Spies are on the move. <gasps> There's Boney. He, the Dark One, is gathering all armies to him. Mm-hmm. So this is quite a tricky position to hold because it's not so I'm not within range of any regions to actually replenish. So what I might be doing is rolling armies around. So because they've got so because Bordeaux is so good for replenishing, I'm probably gonna be sending armies back to Bordeaux to replenish. And then bringing them back into the front. So I think the eye is twigged that uh things are going badly for them in continental France. Nope. Just keep watching. Hmm. So the French are finally coming. Prussians and the Austrians are still moving about. Join war against the Italian states. Yes. Let's. And then let's potentially send Sir John Moore to land and capture to land and capture oh it's just it's Venice and oh it's just Venice do I sell them around to capture Venice or do I just work work towards them okay let's build a court of justice lay it we're fortified so let's build up a solid core of infantry then this army will move east to hit Torino, then Milan and you were going towards Strasbourg, so keep going. Yeah, because this army replenishes so quickly. So let's bring, let's be honest, I might bring Wellesley back to Provence. 
to seek resupply. What do I move up to John Moore? Because he's ready. I think. Hmm. I think I move to John Moore up to here. To head off this French army. <clears throat> you stay there for one more turn. This army is still going to be a few turns. Build walls in case the French come after us. Keep blockading. Let's build a steam dry dock. And let's get ready to start forming another army. It's super frustrating that these guys can't even can't seem to catch a break and actually replenish before another annoying little French stack comes in. So I might want to move them up to hold the bridge. They're not fully replenished, but I can't wait for the perfect solution, otherwise it'll never happen. So I'm intrigued to find out what the French will do. So Bonaparte's back in Brussels, back in Paris, sorry. No, 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 no. Okay, so I might want to run them back. So who are you? Jean-Baptiste Chaudin. Nope, not interested. Yeah, I'm going to want to bring that army back down towards Bordeaux to help uh, try cut off this army here that's, that's heading west. Well, yeah, it looks like both of them are. A lot of them are actually diverting around towards Bordeaux, which is quite funny, actually. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So I may actually move my army in the east into the action, because if the French are bringing all their forces westward, then that will bring me and the Prussians and the, and the Russians and the Austrians will actually have some scope to push west, which obviously I don't want them to do. So bring them down to Castle. It's full army. Lay siege. So I want to bring you guys back. Go to Court of Appeals. So in a couple of turns, Wellesley would be quite nicely resupplied. I can move my garrison force out here yep Khan can just about handle it hell let's give him a real pickle what do I just go for it conscripts some they've, to be honest it's not a staggering army I've got buckets of artillery maybe too much you know what I'm going to go for it I am going to go for it. It's not with Wellesley or with any of my ideal armies that were nearby. Now's quite a good opportunity. Loads of artillery. Absolutely loads of it. Of course, let's see if the terrain allows me to use it. Which doesn't look like it's going to be. Doesn't look like he's going to, sorry. It's quite a nice little hill, actually. Probably want that. It's 
So let's take two of my nine pounder batteries so I can send them up to pull them up on this hill. That's quite a nice little firing position. And let's get three units to cover the base. Probably one, three, two units. Probably three more. Then I'm probably going to want some skirmishing, skirmishing foot infantry on the left to cover that. Two units of light infantry to cover the right. And split my cavalry up because I'm going to need them. General in the centre. In guard mode, units fight defensively. Try to maintain their formation when attacked and don't pursue the enemy if they run away. Not all units can guard. Bound to the right of center on the battle control panel, the guard mode button toggles on and off <coughs> for selected troops. Good. So I want some guns in the mix. These ones I might actually be okay with deploying them up here. Just as a cheval, so let's move my dragoons up as well. These guys are looking a bit exposed now. And that's why you have... Cavalry support. Good, everyone's moving up. The artillery is going to be in a nice firing position. going okay one of you screwed up let's do that let's kink back this army this unit just a little bit just so they don't get too much friendly fire no 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 sorry you want to go there the other one wants to go there If possible. I've just got a feeling the AI is going to absolutely freak out when I get into position. And to be honest, they're getting into position too. See, the AI can't actually transit down this territory. This is this is like a hard ridge. Scooter on this flank. Observation balloon. <laughs> Wait, I've not done looking for Boney. So he is. Oh man, they're all moving up, they're all running. To be honest, I'm probably going to swing these guys over in this direction. Yeah. Okay, 
Okay, so the artillery can all just plonk there and fire over my line. Not managing to provoke their cavalry, but they are very nicely going into a bit of a corner for me. And limbo and fire at will. Pivot you all a bit. Good, we are hitting their artillery. These are 12 pounders, but they're within my range, so. Okay, cavalry charge. Okay, the general advance. Glorious victory, sir, is soon to be yours. Let's get all my artillery to barrage. Order. Cavalry's just got into range. Sir! Sir! Our general is under attack! Let's deploy my cavalry, because this is just light infantry, and they're against lancers, so I don't like their odds. Too late. Let's run you down the flank. And then let's deploy the light infantry. Yep, couch great grape shot blast against Gets my troops, but fortunately the lancers have done a pretty terrible job at actually hitting <clears throat> actually hitting my cavalry. My infantry, sorry. Let's keep you guys hitting their artillery. No, 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 stop shooting at my men. Damn, accidentally unlimbered, accidentally limbered them up. Against regiments of foot. Okay, let's wheel. Let's 
Let's wheel you guys back. Uh, speed. Let's get my artillery to focus fire. One of these units. Because the main focus is on the left. Let's go hit the chasse a cheval. <clears throat> Well, let's redeploy my artillery if they want to play like that. Cavalry charge going in. I don't pull out. Keep going in. Who does not like that? I could really do with other unit of cavalry right now. Because this could be about to get messy. Guns, that's understandable. This is not going to go well. Don't have enough firepower. Fire. I go for Boney. Maybe if I get Boney, the. Is that my guns? Yeah, probably was my guns. Let's pull my general staff back to range. Get my light horse into the armed citizenry. Be if I can get Napoleon. Maybe if I can get Napoleon. Our men are running. I know it's not going to go well. Let's make my guns withdraw. Except for these ones, these can actually provide some 
Get support. Former general back. Former you back. Take the two days, Swiss grenadiers. You hit the two days, Swiss grenadiers. Our men are running. Mr. Barrage. That regiment of foot. Cavalry to hit that militia unit. Napoleon routing. Napoleon is routing. That's something at least. Well, you know what? Cancel your withdrawal. Redeploy. Fight them. Just do round shot. Oh, I think. I might have darn pulled it from the brink. Not to count any chickens, but. Our men are running, sir. So who's that? It's them. It's my dragoons. To be fair, they have fought brilliantly.
line this infantry up ready to move on the conscripts get these guys doing round shot and plinking out the regiment of conscripts to the rear Garrison. Charge in then, finish off that militia unit. They are wavering though. Chase down the Fusiliers, and that's the end of them. The militia's gone. Oof. Oh god, that was a hell of a battle. I thought I'd lost it. I really, really thought I'd lost it. Then a couple of a couple of key combats went my way. Most have killed him. It feels like killing Napoleon pretty made all the difference because that allowed my cavalry to rampage around the battlefield and you know, do all the damage in terms of morale. But yes! Two men remaining, one of them is Boney. Ab obviously we're going to loot Paris. Oh, so much money. But let's get ready to defend her. So let's group my frigates together. Into, up towards Le Havre. Well, actually, they're going to go start interfering with the uh, the um, Batavian Republic. Is it for you? There we go. William Cornwallis now has a frigate force. Destroy this port dockyard in Calais because I don't need that many. Bring this force into bear because now they can actually engage without worrying about reinforcements. Same with Wellesley. Let's bring Wellesley to go hit Napoleon Chamelaire. Draw that reinforcement stack into battle for that little fragment. Draw them. Draw John Moore into battle up here. Keep going on. So they do massively hate me. And there's a university here, so let's destroy that. That should go to some way to helping. Infiltrate Strasbourg. Jean Baptiste Jordan. Oh, I got shot. 
Constable William Wicknell. You have a go. Because nominally, Napoleon is our... Oh wow, Georgetown Smoker did spoiler. <laughs> Region captured, France. Perfect. But yes, they are very much going to be not very happy with this. So in terms of replenishment, I'll probably build this up into a musket into a musket manufactory. Well, not musket manufactory. A whatever you call it to replenish your troops. That's what I'm going to do. And we recruit a new general. Ah, oh, we cannot. Six out of six, and we're too far away from Ah, oh, still six out of six. Can't recruit any more generals. But let's get some of these howitzers into our forces overseas. But that was a very successful turn. Managed to capture Paris. They're going to hate us and they're going to they're loot and be extremely unhappy. But this is what happens when you play as France. And the only real worry we have is this army here and Louis Almaraz in the centre. But of course we have Alexander Abercrombie, Bob Crawford and then Wellesley coming from the west. So they're well and truly surrounded. But yes, looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of this part. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time.